There's anti-blackness throughout all the cultures that I have been brought up in, and I thought today would be the day that I would simply just talk about it. Hey guys, it's Mohamed Rali, hope you guys are all doing well today. So I thought I'd just do this video simply because it's seen as a taboo, people don't really talk about it, people don't really um, speak up about it, whether it's in their cultural homes that they live in that are not black, or when it comes to certain videos, I haven't really seen much of this material, and I really think that this is a topic that we really people don't really talk about because they feel like they're just disrespecting a certain form of culture or how it's met or everything so in that times it can be quite sensitive to people but really and truly there is anti-blackness doused throughout plenty of cultures especially my culture which i'm a bit of a blend of many so i thought i'd definitely just stand here and just talk to you about the experiences that i have gone as experiences that other people have gone and simply just raising awareness and i'm not doing this video to appeal to a certain demographic i'm not doing this video to you know be about to cook out or so forth as people say or they joke i'm simply just calling out for what it is and i will just call it a day simple as that because i'm tired i'm tired of the bullshit tell me why i'm watching an arab movie with certain family members and the so-called demon has to be a black woman. She was, it wasn't even a black woman, it was just a certain lady that was painted in black from top to bottom and she played the scary demon who's going to possess the particular innocent boy. Now me personally, I mean that was just an example of why is he on a daily basis. But me personally, I'm a mix of plenty of cultures. People always ask where I'm from, where I'm this. I am South Asian, I am also Arab, I am also Turkish, but obviously I'm born in London and I have a dual nationality, British and Canadian. Especially in the Arab cultures and the South Asian cultures, there's a lot of anti-blackness going on where people, you know, even when I was a young kid, I was told not to make friends with certain type of people, don't make friends with them, you know, they might do something to you, they might steal things off you, they might have this, 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 etc, etc, etc. Before we even begin and actually underline and apprehend the different forms of anti-blackness that is coded in cultures, the definition of it is something that people will say is arguably brought in by colonialists, you know, who kind of refer to white people as to be you know, or the colour white to be a positive affirmation and black or to be negative affirmation to kind of justify forms of slavery. Whenever people think of the slave trade or whatever, they think, okay, white people used to own black people, it's bad, it was racist, it was horrible. But really and truly, people need to do their history because prior to the white slave trade, there was the Arab slave trade. And I think about the Arab slave trade, people forget a lot. They don't, it doesn't even come, I didn't even know about it until like a year and a half ago until I actually looked into and did my own research. People aren't really talking about the Arab slave trade, which was actually bigger and ten times worse than the white slave trade of um, black people. And I feel like it was definitely far more horrific and it was coated all over the Arab countries. And I feel like it took place far before white people even did it. So that in itself is something that is a bit of a shock to some people if you, if you do not know about it. But to me, I find that very interesting. And it was horrible at the time. Plenty of different slaves brought all over certain parts of Africa and transferred to the Arabian Peninsula and so forth and even to this day there is still a lot of slavery going on and primarily seen in Libya where you've seen certain people being shackled, being sold, live auctions going on where these Arabs are auctioning certain black people are unfortunate, people aren't doing much about it, the African Union isn't doing much about it, it is actually a bit of a shame, there's nothing going on, no shade, no tea but it feels like we care more about elephants than we care about people and not that I don't care about elephants because we shouldn't be killing them etc etc but really and truly they do not come first, like it's they are animals, humans would obviously have to come first. So it's a bit of a shame that they're getting more coverage and exposure and it's a bit more, it's a bit, it's somewhat humiliating as well when it comes to the media representation of what's actually needs to be focused on. But that is, that is another story for another video. This is about anti-vaccine culture. And you know, even to this day, I think it, it comes from that mostly, but it really is uprooted in the Arab cultures where, you know, certain people, if you are black, you're seen as a prostitute, you're seen as a form that's lower than other people, you are seen as something that's not to be respected, it's then somewhat reciprocated and highlighted, whether it be in movies, whether it be in films, whether it be in your houses and so forth, where certain people are just seen to be taught, you're just taught this, this is like, it's, it's quite weird, you're subconsciously taught where certain people of colour are, are not allowed to, where you're just subconsciously taught where black people are simply, are to be disrespected, they're dirty, they're filthy, they're, they're not this, they're this. I know some people might not want to hear what I'm saying, but this is the, just a bit of truth. And really and truly, we need to just talk about it because talking about it in itself is such a taboo. That like if you just talk about certain topics like this, people will look at you and be like, why are you talking about this? You're being rude to the culture, you're being insensitive. I'm like, no, this is the truth and the truth hurts clearly because you really can't take what you're hearing. So people always say to, people always say to me, um, you know, you're always doing these weird videos, you're always talking about black women and stuff. I'm like, you're, would you really be saying the same thing if it wasn't a black woman? That, that's what I mean, this anti-blackness is so entrenched into certain people that they would just say, they would have a weird stance as to why I'm doing videos of certain people. I'm like, really and truly, we damn well know there's a lot of anti-blackness entrenched into your headset and we damn well know your life would be very different if you were a black woman in relation to the fact that there are several forms of racism that would be 
uh, you would have to do in battle, whether it's in corporate racism, institutional racism, environmental racism, etc, etc, etc. So the fact that you don't know anything about that and you're on your high horse trying to say certain things, it just makes it a bit confusing. Now, some people have actually told me that as well, and I find that very interesting to say the least, because I feel like the response would have been very different had it not been a particular black woman or black men or whatever, whatever. Now, as I said before, I'll say this again, I'm not doing this video to appeal to certain demographics. I'm not doing this video to be invited out to cookouts or, you know, to, to get this form of favoritism. I'm simply just calling out for what it is, because I've seen it as such repeatable offences that it's just irritating now. I'm just tiring and nobody has become, spoken up about it. I haven't seen it anywhere. And I see it everywhere, like I just told you about that movie and that demon or whatever. And it's come to the point now where I feel like anti blackness really needs to be spoken about. There needs to be some form of awareness, most definitely on my channel. So I feel like I definitely want to just talk about that. And I'm also going to mention some stories of certain people that have expressed anti-blackness, not only in cultures, such as the South, South Asian culture or the Arab cultures, but also in the religion of Islam, where people have said that they have experienced it, especially within mosques and so forth. But obviously, Islam in itself clearly says that no Arab is superior to non-Arab and no white is superior to black, no black and no is superior to white. Like that's the main premise, baseline of what it is. But that doesn't really chase away from the fact that there is still racism going on within Islamic communities. So we have this particular lady called Sama who is a, a Sudanese British lady who talks about how she faced some form of anti-blackness within the Islamic community due to certain Arab cultures. A Palestinian family friend suggested that I buy skin lightening products to make myself look more like her and more beautiful. This is a prime example of interracial colorism that we black Muslims often face within Muslim Arab communities and has intense damaging effects as essentially we are being ridiculed for our black skin. This is just one of many examples of inherent anti-blackness that we experience. But I also want to add that, that by this Palestinian lady su suggesting that I lie to my skin, she's also trying to reach closer proximity to whiteness. This most de definitely links to a lot of anti-blackness within Muslim communities. I strongly believe that when a non-black Muslim exercises racism towards a black Muslim, this is a way for them to reach a certain proximity to whiteness. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Here, who is from Puerto Rico, Cuban and American, and she talks about how I run the Ramadan activities for my office and usually we try to make these as inclusive as possible. We have nights dedicated to representing different cultures, including one night which is the black culture. I had a student called me before Ramadan and asked me what was dinner for the black culture. I told her we don't tell people for what's dinner because it's not about the food, it's about the fast and coming together. And, uh, she was what she, and she didn't want to share the information. She replied by telling me that she needed to know when the black culture night was because she didn't want to eat with us on those nights. She didn't like that food and that food isn't proper for an iftar and it hurts people's stomachs to have fried food, meaning fried chicken. Mind you, she was speaking to me, a whole entire black woman. Very interesting. Is there a solution for anti-blackness problems? I feel like there isn't an easy, simple, quick solution, but I feel like communicating about it, bringing it a form of awareness, talking about some people's struggles, you know, just trying to talk about it as much as we can. Communication is an essential key tool. So I do feel like that can obviously help in a shape, form or manner in terms of trying to help this problem and make it as small as possible. Anti-blackness in, in, in the mixture of culture that I have been brought up in, I've seen it very heavy in both when it comes to certain people being reflected as degrading, horrible demons or whatever, or when it comes to saying other people, are, you know, making fun of stereotypes or microaggressions or so forth or appropriating cultures and then try, trying to make fun of the people that actually bring this culture to us to enjoy or whatever. And I also feel like um, we are taught that certain people that you, sh you should not be friends with them because they can be quite dirty or filthy, they might steal from you, they might damage you, or they might uh, don't bring them to your house or whatever. So these forms of anti-blackness is definitely uprooted in the culture that I have been brought up in and I have seen it everywhere. And I feel like it's definitely interesting and I feel like it can be, up I think like one of the main sources are, the, you obviously got the, the recent white slave trade, you got the colonialism that took place, and you also have the Arab slave trade that took place as well prior, that is still going on heavy to this day. So I feel like these forces are definitely forces that need to be spoken about and how they have brought this whole idea of whiteness is superior and blackness is, you know, not superior, etc, etc. So I feel like this is definitely an interesting topic and I thought I'd bring this to my channel to just discuss it. Let me know what you guys think about this and let me know if you guys agree or disagree or share your stories as well. If you are a certain Muslim, if you're a black Muslim or whatever, or if you've just seen it in certain cultures, whether it be not even South Asian or Arab cultures, but whether it could be American Latina cultures, it could be European cultures, etc, etc. Let me know what you guys think and hit me up in the comment box below. Follow me on my Instagram and my website if you guys want to. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.